Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So back to our Selenium short answer series. Last time we discussed about how exactly get title method works. Today we are going to talk about which HTML attribute is always unique. It's a very, very famous intro equation, a very simple question, but you can enhance this answer by giving some facts, by giving some really good examples. And then you should know how to explain this question at a time of interview so that you will be different from others. And we all know which HTML attribute is always unique. It should be ID, right? Class and name others can be duplicate, but ID should be unique always. But is it has to be unique? It is compulsory. It is mandatory. Yes, according to W3C standard, it is mandatory. If you see HTML standards for HTML4 page from the W3.org, it's clearly written here the attribute assign a name to an element for this name. And then for ID, it's saying, uh, ID assigns a unique identifier to an element. Okay. And if you see the HTML5 page, this is HTML5 official page. And you can see that when specified on HTML element, the ID attribute value must be unique amongst all the IDs in the elements tree. But what if developers has given a UI developer has given some uh, duplicate ID. So for that, I'm just want to show you one basic example here. So this is a basic HTML page. And when you uh, save this page, you can see this Welcome to web page. This is Naveen Automation Labs. Something is written over here. Okay. And then there is a header over here. You can see this is Naveen Automation Labs. And there's a paragraph, top courses programming for every day, everybody. You can see it over here. Let's say I'm going to create one more paragraph here, which is having the some different text over here. Let's see for uh, MBA. And then you save it. And then here you can see this ID is equal to test and ID equal to test. Both are both the HTML tags, P and P, both the paragraphs are having the same ID and the browser is not giving you any error. It's absolutely working fine. In fact, you can uh, go to inspect, go to Chrome Dev Tools, and then you check over here that under this particular elements, go to body and then see this paragraph is also ID equal to test and ID equal to test. So both are absolutely working fine. Browser will not give you any error. In fact, you can go to the console also. Here it's saying that uh, different Thing, but it's not giving you any ID specific error over here saying some Chrome extension, which is fine. Right now back to elements. What if I'm using the same script in Selenium? Selenium will throw some exception or any kind of error. No, Selenium also will not throw any error. The moment you write by.id, Selenium will always check. Okay, fine. From top of the page, whatever the element is found first, Selenium will interact with that element on the basis of this ID. So I have written a basic script over here. You can see that ID is equal to what a test over here. I want to capture the text. So which text will be captured the top courses for everybody or top courses for MBA. So let's see, let's run it and quickly see that. So the browser is getting launched and here you can see top courses programming for everybody. It means it actually picked for this guy. The moment we find the first element having the same ID equal to test that exactly will be picked. So Selenium will not throw any exception over here. Let's see some more better examples. Now I'll do one thing that uh, this time I'm going to create a link here. For example, let's say I'm going to create a link with a tag and, or let's see, just write it like this. And then this is my login. Okay. And uh, I can create one more link here in between. I can create a break with the BR tag and ID equal to login. So both are having the same email, email ID over here. The moment you save it here, you can see login and the sign up. The links are visible. And then the moment you inspect it, for example, let's say I'm going to inspect sign up. And then this is ID equal to email for login ID equal to email for sign up. Both are exactly having the same ID, which is absolutely working fine here. But this is not recommended. Could be possible that, okay, when you host your application, maybe on some, some Chrome extension or maybe some, uh, or some browser based application or some native app that you're using it, maybe your code would be rejected by that specific vendor. So in that case, it is not a W3C standard. W3C strictly says no, that ID should be unique. It should not be a duplicate for multiple elements for different pages. Right guys. So let's say I'm going to add some href property also. Let's see, uh, href is equal to something like this, HTTPS, Naveen automation. Same href property I'm going to add for this guy also. The HF property could be a duplicate, which is absolutely fine. But uh, the moment I write ID here, see this. So now both are both the links are having some HF property here like this, right? 
and this is your id actually let me just close it like that and save it okay so here you can see the example is very much clear uh, there is as such no restriction that you have to use uh, the unique id right in fact some big application like youtube see i'll show you one thing here on youtube they don't follow w3c you simple search for id equal to button can you see hash button i'm searching for hash button means the csv selector for this and then there are many ids are available see this also having the same id equal to button this also having the same id equal to button this icon i'm talking about this is also having the same id equal to button see this this mic also having the same id equal to button so there are multiple elements are having the same id see id equal to button id equal to button this is also id equal to button this is also id equal to button so there are so many elements are available there are 91 elements are available which are having the same id equal to button so youtube is also not following the standard so it's not compulsory that okay it should be there or it will give you some error or exception or selenium also will throw some exception no it's nothing like that but these are the standard we should always follow it has to be uh, unique but it is not mandatory it is not compulsory so this is a, a right answer for this a question that we discuss about that which html attribute is always unique we know id everybody knows about that but you should uh, present the answer in a better way like that so that's the answer for this question i hope you liked it please explain exactly same thing at the time of interview we are coming with some new content with respect to a uh, different uh, interview questions with respect to automation and selenium or maybe some other automation tools if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment section definitely i'll try to take your question in the next video till then take care and god bless you all